Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm here with Plugin Boutique, and I got a quick tip for you on the Aperillo Software Synth by Sugarbytes. This is an incredible synthesizer. If you haven't checked it out, it's fairly new on the market. Highly suggest it. But this is like an atmospheric modulation, just beauty of a plugin. Check this out. I'm going to press one key on my keyboard, and this is just the preset called Arium SB. You can't tell me that's not lush. So what I was thinking of is I really like the modulation possibilities and where that really starts to come into play is in the orbit tab. Now there's a ton to go over inside of the synthesizer but that's not what we're here to do. I'm here to show you how to get moving sounds easily if you've got Ableton Live in the Aperillo VSTi. So if you click the orbit tab and by the way you can just click that logo as well. This is where you can start modulating the sound just by clicking this and dragging it around inside of this space. So each one of these is something different. It could be a synth, it could be an effect, it could be anything. And moving this ball closer or further away to these nodes gets different sounds. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and hit one key on my keyboard again. So you get the idea. Now I'm not going to show you how to set these things up, but what I want to show you is how to make this ball move around all by itself in a random and varying ways without you having to do anything. And that's by using the Max for Live device randomizer. It's an audio effect. If you've got Ableton Live, open it up. Max for Live audio effect device randomizer. Drop it on the same channel as the Aperillo. And you want to make sure the randomize button is on. Click it on and off right there. If it's highlighted blue, that means it's on. Click the map button, it will flash and say so you've got to select something. I'm going to go ahead and select Aperillo and watch what happens. Look at the ball, it's moving all by itself now. So I don't even have to do anything. So if you look here, I've got a MIDI clip with just one MIDI note sustained and I'm going to let it play and you tell me this isn't amazing. So that's just one of the presets. And if you look inside of here, there are so many presets and really all of them work in the same way. And what's really cool is now that we've got that randomizer routed to the Aperillo, we don't need to do anything else. We can actually just cycle through the presets until we find something that we really like. So let's just check another one. So anyway, that's a quick tip on using Aperillo to get those atmospheres and getting moving without having to do too much work. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.